Welcome to MBN. We'll again look into a good set of data interpretation. Uh, so this was a moderate set, but very few of you have solved it. So if you have not attempted it, do attempt it. Link of the question is there in the description section. Also subscribe to the channel so that you get the video update of the solution as soon as I post it. Now let's read it. In a school, there were 900 students in class 12. They belong to one of the four streams that are science, medical, arts and commerce. Fine. No two stream had the same number of the students. That is also completely fine. The table below shows partial information about the sets of the books bought by the students of class 12. Okay. A set of book contain all subjects corresponding to that stream of the student. Okay. So for science, the set of book would be maths, physics, chemistry, and English. Similarly for medical, it would be a set of books would be of physics, chemistry, and English and so on. Two different books are available for each of the subject and a student could choose any one of the two, but not both. Okay. For each subject, we have two books available. That is completely fine. Table one shows the percentage of students buying different books. Example, P percent of the students in science stream bought book A1 for maths. Fine. So this is easy to understand for science stream. P percent of the students bought A1 book for maths. Similarly, Q percent of the student bought B1 for maths. So P, Q and all the uh, digits or sorry, the letters over here is nothing but percentage. Uh, table 2 shows the total number of the set of the books by, bought by the students of each stream. So we have this as table 2. It shows that total set of the books bought by different streams. So a science stream student will buy 324 books. Now this contains 324 is set of books. And let's suppose we are talking about science. So science contains four subjects that is maths, physics, chemistry and English and each of them are the set of books. I mean to say that number of the student buying maths book, number of the student buying physics books, chemistry book and English book for science students will be same. Why? Because we are talking about set of books for various streams. And also it is mentioned that a set of books contains all the subject corresponding to that stream of the student. Hope this point is clear now some information is there the number of the student in each stream is multiple of 10 so let's suppose we are talking about science so number of the students so total students in science is 10a and similarly for medical it would be 10b 10c and for commerce this would be 10d so these are the total number of the students for each of the various streams Second point says that at least one student in each stream did not buy the set of books. So it means that there won't be a case in which all the students of the stream bought the book. Okay. Now third point says that the percentage of student in each stream who bought the set of books was multiple of 10. Okay. So let's suppose for easy understanding, let's suppose we are talking about commerce. So total number of the student in commerce is multiple of 10 that is 10 D. Q and S, these are percentages. So Q and S, sum of Q and S, Q plus S would be a percentage and that would be a multiple of 10. Also, it mentions that these percentage would be different or distinct, in fact, for all the four streams. So these are very important points to note. Now, fourth point says that cross indicate the subject was not included that in, in that stream. So let's suppose we're talking about commerce. So in commerce, maths, physics, chemistry were not included. Only English was included. Now let's see each of the question and accordingly we'll proceed. First question says that what was the total number of chemistry books bought by the students in class 12? So in class 12 chemistry book, if we're just focusing on chemistry. So who will uh, buy the chemistry books? The students from science stream, the students from medical stream, the students from art stream but not the commerce stream so what are the total number of the students in science stream who bought the books that is 324 similarly what are the number of students in medical stream who bought the book that is 216 now do not be confused it is not the sum of all the math books plus physics books plus chemistry books plus english book it is clearly given that it is set of the books 
so the number of the students buying maths books physics books chemistry book and english book will remain same and that is 324 for science 216 for medical and 126 for arts so let's sum this up this 6 plus 6 plus 4 uh, will make it to 16 carry 6 1 2 1 3 4 2 6 and again 6 so 6 6 6 so the first so if you have just understood the language of the question the first question is just 2 to 3 minutes of work now second question is how many students were there in art stream of class 12 so we need to find the value of 10 c in fact we need to find the value of c so now let's get into what exactly that we need to do or the calculation and let's try to find the value of as many variables involved over here so let me erase all this now as we have four variables or four streams a number of students for each of the stream or the percentage of the students buying books for each of the stream would be different so let's take variable now it is clearly men mentioned that this percentage of the st students from each stream who bought the books would be multiple of 10 so let's suppose percentage of students buying book from science stream is 10 w percent similarly for medical stream would be 10 w x percent for art stream it would be 10 10 y percent and for commerce it would be 10 z percent now again for further explanation so that you don't have any confusion this 10 z percent is nothing but summation of q percent and s percent right because these are nothing but percentages fine now 10 d ka 10 percent 10 z percent will give 54 so 10 d and 10 z percent that equals to 54 now if you simplify this this is nothing but dz equals to 54 or we can say that multiply or product of two variables equals to 54 now what are the possible combinations let us write that dz or let's make a column for them and let's write for d and z fine now also an important point to note that the value of z will not cross 10 because total number of the student as a percentage of 10 d will not exceed more than 100 percent so let's suppose if the value of z in goes to 11 okay more than 10 so that is 100 uh, this would be 110 percent but that is not practically possible that out of the total students we are selecting 110 percent hope you got the point so dz equals to 54 z has to be less than 10 what are the possible values first z equals to 1 d equals to 54 z equals to 2 uh, d equals to 27 z equal for art stream it would be something similar to this that is cy would equal to 126 right so let's make a table for c and y right now i can i will not take I will not take c equals to 126 and y equal to 1. Now, if I take c equals to 126, total number of the students in art stream would be 1260 and that will exceed 900. So, yeah, I have to be very careful, just not will just look at the values and blindly write the all possible values. So, if I take, I can take c y equals to 2, c equals to 63. So now, similarly, let's do it for b x equals to b x equals to 216 and x equals to 9 b would equals to 21 sorry for this space now let's do it the same for a that i'll not take the value of w as 2 or 3 because that will exceed the total number of the student in science to more than 900 so let's start with 4 and if we take 9 that would give it to how much 36 now what are the restrictions the restrictions are that a b c d would be distinct value and w x y z would also be a distinct values and also if we sum this up that is 10 a plus 10 b plus 10 c plus 10 d this would equals to the total number of the student that is 900 so it means that if we sum a b c d we'll get the total sum as 90 now we have to find the possible combination of a b c d w x y z according to the given set of values so let's start with the highest value 
Now let's look into this possible set. Now if I take this possible value for A or this possible value of A, A itself becomes 81. Now A, B, C, D has to be 90, right? A plus B, let me write it like this so that it's very clear to you. A plus B plus C plus D equals to 90. Why? Because the total sum of the student has to be 900. I take A equals to 81. I do not see any possible combination working. So definitely this would be eliminated. Now, even if I take value of A equals to 54, I can see that with all the possible combinations, A plus B plus C plus D would not be equal to 90. It would be more than that. So this possible combination can also be eliminated, right? So what we are left is 36 and 9. So value of A is 36, value of W is 9. Now wherever value of A is 36, we can eliminate, right? And also wherever the value of uh, W or wherever the value of the X percentage is 9, we can also eliminate because W, X, Y, Z has also to be distinct, right? It is clearly mentioned. So let me do that. Let me change the ink. So this would go, this would go from here. This would go from here. Now, as we know, the value of A is 36. If we have to choose for the value of B, I cannot take 72 or 54 because that will exceed 90. This has been eliminated. So only option left is 27 and 8. Now, wherever I have 27, I can eliminate. Do I have 27? Yes, I can eliminate over here. And wherever we have 8, I can eliminate. Do I, do I have 8 anywhere else? No. So as of now, 36 plus 27, that makes it to 63. We have to reach till 90. So how much is still remaining? That is 27. So C plus D should equal to 27. Clearly this won't be there. This won't be there. 26. If I take 21, if I take 21, I do not have anything to make it to 27. That C plus D is 27. So this would be eliminated. Only option left is 18, 7. And I've taken 18. So this would be 9, 6. That makes sense. So we have clearly got the value of A, B, C, D, W, X, Y, Z. So the second question was how many students are there in the art stream? That is 10 C value of C is 18. So 180. Now let's look into question number three. Which book was bought by the maximum number of the students in science stream in class 12? So we need to find the values of these letters and these are in nothing in terms of percentages. Can you find that because we have cannot be determined. Uh, can we really find it? Let's uh, look at roughly. So what we know that total number of the student in commerce is Q percent plus S percent and that equals to 10 Z percent, right? So Q, S, Q plus S equals to 10 Z. Similarly, in R stream, this is Q plus R percent is equals to P plus S percent because we are talking about set of students as arts may chemistry or English wale log hain to jitne English lenge utne hi chemistry le rahe honge hope there is no confusion over there because I have been repeating the same thing similarly medical ke liye P plus R percent equals to N plus T percent and that equals to O plus S percent in fact we know what is this percentage so let's remove W X Y Z because we know the value that is 9 8 7 6 so let me erase this Fine. So it says that or we can make it that that Q plus S equals to 60% Q plus R is equal to 70% and that is equal to P plus S that is equal to 70%. Fine. So we need to find according for question three, we need to find the value of each of the letter. Can we do that overall? Let's see that altogether we have eight variables. We know the sum of P plus Q that equals to 90. We know the sum of N plus S that equals to 90. O plus R that equals to 90 M plus T that equals to 90. So four equations. Similarly, we'll get more equations over there. Uh, or in fact, eight variables, eight equation. There may be a redundant equation and so on. So we can find it out. Let's try to do that. Now let me write the equation. What we know is that if we are just looking for commas, that Q plus S equals to 60%. Or let's avoid writing percentage each time. So Q plus X equals to 60. Similarly. Q plus R, if we are looking for arts, Q plus R, that equals to 70 and this equals to P plus S. Similarly, we can write for medical and similarly, we can write for um, sciences. 
but we need to find the individual values of the ladder so a little bit of algebra is involved and, and a decent amount of practice of algebra will help you to solve this now let me tell you how to go about it or it can be easily seen that this p plus q this p plus q is nothing but 90 percent similarly this p plus r is nothing but 80 percent similarly this q plus r equals to 70 percent now we have three variables three equation i can easily find the value of them now let's sum this up this would be two times of p plus q plus r and if we sum this over here 80 70 240 so this is nothing but p plus q plus r would equals to 120 now we can find the value of p q and r so what would be the value of p so let me write it down like this what would be the value of p q plus r equals to 70 so the value of p would equals to 50 now what would be the value of q value of q would be 40 mind it everything is in terms of percentage and what would be the value of r because if p is 50 value of r would be 30. now we have found three we can find anything else so let's suppose this q s q plus s that equals to 60 percent as q plus s equals to 60 percent q is 40 so s would equals to 20 percent similarly we can find value of the other n plus s that equals to 90 percent s equals to 20 and the value of n would equals to 70 similarly i know the value of r so o plus r is 90 percent r is 30 so o would equals to 60 now what is remaining is m and t now i know the value of n plus t n plus t over here is 80 percent value of n is 70 so value of t is nothing but 10 percent similarly i know the value of t as 10 percent m plus t has to be 90 so m would equals to 80. now simple which book has the maximum number of the student in science for class 12 which has got the maximum value the maximum value is by m that is 80 and m means g4 right g4 now let's see question number four it says what was the difference between the number of the student of class 12 who buy g4 and those who buy e3 so g4 and e3 so we need to find the absolute value of g4 right because we know the value of m o p q as percentage right of the total number of the students over here a i forgot i have just erased it value of a was how much 36 so total number of the student in science stream was 360 so if we find the number of the students for m m stands here for 80 percent so 80 percent of 360 similarly find it for o p and q and similarly do it for e3 so we need to find the absolute values right so and then we can find the difference so you can do this question hope the concept is very clear to you thank you